guys, so um, before I start today, I'm actually kind of obsessed with what I did here today. So I mixed a pump or two pumps of the Fit Glow Vita Active Foundation with a drop of the Nini Organics Glow Illuminator and then two drops of the Kosas Foundation. Um, and I really like how my skin turned out. My skin's actually doing a lot better. Um, the, that resiliency, resiliency serum from Earthwise Beauty has done like wonders for helping clear up my skin and um, it's just looking like 100% better. It's just crazy. Um, I'm also not wearing mascara yet because we're going to be doing an eyeshadow video today. So I got all eight of the new Kosas 10 second eyeshadows in the mail. So I wanted to do a swatch for you of all of them and then a demo of me applying one um, and then sort of like my thoughts on the wear of them and the colors and whatever. Just, you know, like a little Kosas 10 second eyeshadow review. So yeah, like I said, there are eight colors and we're gonna be putting on one. Um, I haven't played around with mixing them yet on my eyes, um, but I've got some combinations that I wanna do in the future. But um, just for the sake of this video, we're just gonna do one on my eyes. Let's talk about the eyeshadows first. So these are Visionary Pigment, um, sub suspended in fluid for a modern wash of color. They're made in Italy, which is kinda cool. Is Kosas an Italian brand? I guess I never really I never really knew that. So this one is shade Waterfall. So the formula is pretty interesting on these, not in terms of like the formulation of it, but like how it wears and how how it works. They separate, so you do need to sh give them like, like the, the, you know, the fluid oil or the tinted face oil, you have to give them like a really good shake before you use them. I'm going to shake them all, except for this one um, off camera, cause that can be really annoying to watch somebody, you know, shake up an eyeshadow. <laughs> Um, but it's water, it's got um, citrus fruit extract, orange fruit, it's got mica, alcohol, um, glycerin, silica, jojoba seed oil, it's got some starch, rice starch in it, um, titanium dioxides, or yeah, titanium dioxides, it's got tan oxides, iron oxides to color ultramarines. So these are all pigmented naturally, there's no dyes in any of them. And they are, they're basically like a water that goes on and um, they're really cool. They don't like budge once you put them on. You have to like rub really hard for them to budge and they rinse off like really easily with water. You don't need any kind of crazy like eye makeup remover or anything like that. So I'm gonna start with Waterfall, which is this light blue shade. So here is Waterfall. It's a little bit of a light blue. Here is Nitrogen, which is a darker blue. This one is 333, just sort of like a light lilac y shade. This one is Fahrenheit, which is the one that I'm pretty excited for and the one I'm going to be using um, today. Here is Element, which is almost like, it's kind of like a matte, like brown or terracotta color, I want to say. As they start to dry down, they do dry down a little bit differently. I feel like it's gonna focus on my face. So this top one is Copper Halo, which is like a copper color. None of these are like excessively shiny or shimmery or anything. Um, they do have like a little bit of maybe like a sheen, but they're not like sparkly or glittery or anything. The last two are gonna be the ones that have a little bit of like a glitter. Some of these are harder to distribute than others. This one is Globe. And this last one, my swatches are like all over the place. This last one is Supreme, which is the eyeshadow I was wearing on my video on Friday. Sort of like a shimmery gold color. So here they are again, try to keep my face out of view. So there's Supreme. Globe, Copper Halo, Element, Fahrenheit, 333, Nitrogen, and Waterfall. Okay, so now that we've swatched them all, um, I'm gonna do Fahrenheit on my eyes. So 
They say to sweep over clean dry lids and blend with finger, doe foot, or eyeshadow brush to desired color. Um, I used just my finger the last time. I did bring an eye brush in here just in case. This is like sort of a more tricky color than the gold one that I used last time. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in for this one and we're just going to apply the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna start with my finger, I think. And then sort of see if we need to blend. Yeah, let's blend, um, let's blend with a brush a little bit. Unlike like a regular eyeshadow, like a powder eyeshadow, these are much harder to do. Um, like in the viewfinder <laughs> without like a regular mirror or, you know something I didn't put any primer or anything on my eyes I didn't the first time I wore it either and um, it did pretty well I mean it creased a little bit but not so much that I'm like oh my god these suck I expect creasing with every eyeshadow that I wear because I think that's just the nature of them. I'm just gonna put um, just a little bit more on just to intensify that color. I'm just gonna pat it. All that pigment sort of like hung out in my crease. They can be a little bit tricky to work with just because they dry so fast. I'm gonna try to like just put it on my lid and not um, close my eye. <laughs> so that way it doesn't all like collect in the crease. So then just wait, wait for that to dry. All right, so there is, um, there's one eye. Let's attempt to do the other one now. So I used my finger first. Oh, it's like in my lashes, I think. Whoops. These are a bit trickier to work with. Um, just because you do need to work fast because once they dry they sort of like don't move which is good but then it could make um, blending just a touch difficult so it's not exactly even I'm just gonna do a touch bit more on this over here. Try to make it even. Okay, so here's both eyes. I think that's probably about as even as I'm going to get them um, for this demo's purposes. <laughs> so I think they're a really cool concept and um, you know, once you get the hang of how to use them, they can probably be, you know, really easy to work with. It's just sort of like, you know, a learning curve with like any like sort of new innovative product. <laughs> All right, I threw on some mascara just to sort of complete the look. So yeah, I, I mean, I think they're really cool. I mean, they, they're they easy to work with once you sort of get the hang of them. Um, I haven't tried blending colors yet, but I do have some ideas for like, you know, ones that could look pretty cool, you know, like the two blues together. They separate pretty, um, pretty quickly. This is waterfall and then this is nitrogen. Um, even like the two purple colors, you know, doing sort of like a little light, a little bit of a, like a lighter lilac and like the crease or something. And then the Fahrenheit one, but um, I haven't sort of ventured into blending just yet. Um, but I think, I think they're pretty cool. I like the colors. The colors are all really pretty. I mean, aside from maybe like the blues, unless you find like a wearable way to work with them, I think they're all pretty wearable, even this one. I mean, it's not, 
I don't think it's too crazy. I really like the, you know, the pink on the lids these days. It's just a cool color. But like the rest of these, like Supreme, which seems to have worn off a little bit. Um, but all these really are like kind of wearable colors. I mean, even the blues aren't that bad. They're like sort of muted. But yeah, that's pretty much everything that I've got for this video. I just wanted to give you like a swatch of all of them in case you've been wanting to see the colors. Um, so, you know, show you a little demo, how I work with them, how I get them to work. I sort of like start off with my finger and then like blend a little bit with the brush, you know, while you can. They do dry down pretty quickly and um, they do stay put. You have to like really rub at your eye for them to like, you know, budge and then they rinse off really easily with just water. So they're nice to remove. And yeah, just a pretty cool product. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope this was helpful if you've, you know, been looking into the Kosas eyeshadows, if you saw them release and you're sort of like, what's the deal with these weird watery eyeshadows? Um, but they do dry down. They don't like stay watery or anything. And they do stay put. They don't crease like a ton. Um, they'll crease a little bit, but um, the, the Supreme one that I wore on Friday, it didn't even crease like a lot. It creased like minimally, very minimal in terms of like creasing, especially for not having a base or a primer or anything on underneath. If you want to cancel out, you know, like veininess, like I've got a lot of veininess in my eyes, like, you know, you could put down a primer or, you know, a something like maybe a concealer or something like that to maybe cancel that out, but I don't mind, kind of adds to it. <laughs> So I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope that it was helpful. Are you planning on picking up any Kosas eyeshadows or have you? What do you think if you've tried them? And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one.